Hi guys, it's me, Anne and Doll, with Gunner here. Um, we're about to start making another camera, um, and I said I would show you guys uh, last time that I would show you if I made another one, and then I, I completely forgot to record it when I made this one. So I'm going to record this one now. Uh, I'm going to try another one of this type. So, sort of got photos pictured here as reference. Um, I mean, you don't have to, I guess, follow the photo one-to-one, -one, but, you know, I think it's good to have a picture just on the side. Um, and if you're curious, um, the materials I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff here. It's actually a pretty big mess, and I'm sure I'm not even going to touch half of them, but it's just, it's just what's out. Um, so for the base of this one, I had used a dense fo packing foam. Um, this was packaging material. It held um, the poles that were used for, I think it was a shoe rack. Um, like it was unassembled and they put the poles through there. And so I like this because it's dense and it's black in case something shows through so it's not that obvious. I mean, we're gonna cover the entire camera so that you don't see the foam, but I do like that it's black. The biggest part though is the fact that it has that hole in the middle. Um, I had thought of using this softer type of foam before, but this is just way too soft. And for one thing, the the metal, this valve here from that I that you can get at hardware stores, a plumbing valve, it um, it's really heavy. Like even with the dense foam, it just it doesn't it can't like sit up straight because it's so heavy. So I do like this denser foam compared to this. I'm pretty sure that the valve would actually just like pop right out, and the it wouldn't stay glued onto this because this is pretty flimsy. Um, I mean, if you did want to use a sort of softer foam for the base of your camera, instead of using a heavy metal valve, I would choose to just use a bunch of washers to stack on top of this to make it, to give that sort of um, camera lens effect, instead of this one piece, like this is all one piece right here, and it, it even goes through the camera and it comes back here, so that's what makes it so heavy. Um, I hope I'm explaining things clearly, uh, just, it, this is more of a follow me instead of a tutorial, I, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, so I've got, so that's the base. I've got, um, tons of other things here. I've got a bunch of rings to look through. Um, there, there's a bunch of various sizes in here, so I have to constantly try, try them out. I don't really know what'll fit at this point. Um, I've taken a bunch of things apart. Um, this I used, I took this top piece with the ridged edge. This is from a sink strainer, um, earring backings. Here I've taken apart um, some pens and there's even, I found a broken lighter on the sidewalk. I took that apart. I washed it and took it apart. Um, so. I, I, I like this uh, ooh, that's rigid edge for the top of the cameras. So there's that. Here's um, the plumbing valve I'll be using. Uh, it can fit, or because it's foam, I can force it to fit inside. It's a pretty good fit. I'm running out of this too, and I, I'm not really sure what's going to happen when I want to make more cameras, and I run out of this, so I'll have to start looking into that. Um, so I've also got a thing that I think really sells this, other than the lens, actually the body, like what you're wrapping it in. So I've got this um, sheet of plastic, and it's got this texture, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so the cameras are wrapped in leatherette, so it's a plastic, but it mimics leather, and it's got this, um, like, grainy texture to it. 
So this one I actually used pleather and it's not so convincing, but I feel that it worked really well on this one. Maybe it's hard to see the grain texture, but I think it really works better with this sheet of plastic rather than what I had used before, which was a an old pleather jacket that I cut up to do this one in. I did like that it wrapped easily, so I'm wondering how this one's going to wrap, so we'll, we'll try that out. Um, okay, some tools are these pliers, something to cut with, so these are cutting pliers. I've got disposable emery boards because when you cut metal it's got ragged edges so it's very good to have these to soften the edges and I've got some scissors lying around uh, especially if you're cutting I would rec highly highly recommend wearing safety goggles because tiny shards of metal will fly everywhere I will be wearing these and actually I will be bringing him over every now and then because I'll be keeping him across the room like he won't be sitting at my desk while I work because I don't want pieces and shards flying into him. So I will be speeding up the portions where I'm working. Um, I'll try to stop and explain what I'm doing as I go on. So first I'm going to shape my styrofoam and fit the valve in. So I'm going to cut it down to size like this. my little piece of foam, my dense foam, um, and see I kept the hole in it. Um, so that is where the valve is going to fit and be my camera lens. I then used my um, one of my disposable emery boards and I sanded down these two sides to make them a little round um, because in the photos edges are not hard corners, they're rounded off. And now I'm going to trace my um, leatherette, my fake leatherette um, plastic sheet to just wrap around here. Um, you could also make it in the back. Uh, what I did last time was I didn't cover the back in the, in the covering. What I did was I only just taped everything in electrician's tape. Um, because, you know, it's just the back of the camera, you're not really going, if you're taking photos of your dolls with the camera, you're not really interested in seeing the back of it, right? Um, so I think I'll do that again, just so I can keep saving material, because this is my only sheet. So, once again, if I run out of this, I don't really know what I'll do. A lot of the stuff I'm using is, um, you can buy at a hardware store, but a lot of it is also stuff I just find randomly. Um, this plastic sheet I found... Um, there was a seminar at my job and they gave free, um, tote bags and in the bottom of the tote bags, this plastic sits there to level out your groceries or whatever you're carrying in it. And so I was just looking at this piece of plastic and I was like, wow, this could, I could use this. Um, so now the bottom of my tote bag no longer has this there and everything sinks down, but that's okay. Now I'm wondering where else I can find this. Um, so, but yeah, now I'm going to trace out on the plastic sheet and wrap this.
back. Sorry, I had to move the camera because I bumped my head on the contraption that I have it set up at on the stand. And I also moved my lamp because I dropped something on the floor and I needed my lamp to find it. Um, so here it is. I've glued the little silver valve into it as well as now it's covered uh, mostly in the front so you could see all that crazy glue there. So now I'm going to just um, experiment with what I want to put on this um, to try to make it look as close to this as possible. So mostly I'll just start figuring out what I want and then I'm going to start gluing those pieces on. about that. Uh, my phone ran out of space to record and I didn't know it had turned itself off. So I've actually gotten this far. Um, I just added a buck, a little silver doodad there for like a button. I placed this here. That's from uh, another sink strainer. And so it's been fin like cleaned up in the back. I just placed a piece of black plastic and also at the bottom. And then I put a little, um, it's like a beading wire, wrap that here at the bottom. So I'm going to keep adding stuff to it.
So I've added the few buttons here, some stuff here at the top um, to make it look a little bit more like the picture. See it's got all these buttons at the top so I added just a few things. Um, because um, if I added too much stuff, I feel like it just, it'd be hard to hold it and then if you hold something in the wrong way you could like potentially knock something off because the glue isn't, um, you know, it, the, the glue might not bond so well depending on the material, like the different metals that are on here. So I try to put as little embellishments at the top because that's where I like to hold it. Then I added some buttons here. So yeah, that's that's it for this one. Um, I'm sorry if I cut off some pieces because the darn camera ran out of room and then I had to switch over and stuff. Um, you can feel free to ask me any questions about what I've just done for this. And I hope maybe, I don't know, I hope that I will be able to find more styrofoam for these cameras because I'm going to be running out soon. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. I hope I can upload this before the end of this coming week. So, oh wait, let me go grab Gunner and show you. What it looks like. Oh, I should wash my hands first. Um, my hands have a little bit of dry glue, but I think it'll, it'll be fine. So that's this new camera for him. Now he's got two of them. And let me just, I got Saren here as well. Yeah, yeah. big guy, okay. Ooh, can you see him? So that's the camera compared to him. This is how it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. Um, I gotta clean up this mess and then go to bed. So yeah, I will try to edit this and upload it before the end of this coming week. Right now it's Saturday the 16th. I'll try to upload it before the end of the coming week, so talk to you guys soon. Bye!